Dentists typically deal with dental cavities by drilling away the decay and filling the hole with resin, porcelain, or an amalgam of silver and other metals. But researchers at King's College London have a new approach. A simple system, says Professor Paul Sharp, that gets the tooth to fill in the hole naturally. It involves putting a drug on a little sponge that goes inside the tooth in the hole that the dentist made. It stimulates this natural process which is starting to occur anyway following the damage, but it overactivates the process and so you actually get the, the big hole repaired. And the repair is a production of the natural material, the dentine. I mean, that actually shows it really nicely. This is the dentine here, the dentine repair, this dark blue material here. The, the little, these areas here, what's remaining of the sponge? The drug that stimulates that regrowth has already been approved to treat neurological disorders like Alzheimer's disease. We are using much smaller doses and we're delivering them locally, just in a tooth. Um, and so the hope is that, that's that that kind of safety data that's been obtained with very high concentrations, given repeatedly into the bloodstream, will put us in a very good position to go along to the regulator authorities and say, look, this drug's already had all this safety data this is the concentration we're using, this is how we're delivering it. Um, and uh, our hope is that that will accelerate um, the time that we can get this into a clinical trial and, and, and get it into patients. Nigel Carter of the Oral Health Foundation calls the new procedure an exciting alternative for dental care. So actually regrowing uh, the tooth that's been lost with the cavity would be really a huge step forward. But it's also important that we remember that we're talk we shouldn't be getting the cavity in the first place. We're talking about a totally preventable disease. So until then, if you don't want to go under the drill, the dentists advise keep brushing and floss. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.